Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for a little walkthrough of my latest project, which is Morgana. Now, Morgana is a kit I designed in conjunction with Kay and Maggie, who are the Cool Cats Crafts Ladies. So this kit for the outside and the tape and things is actually available through Cool Cats Crafts. So I'll add some links below if you'd like to make your own and you want to buy the kit ready-made. So the advantage of buying the kit is it's really strong um, grey board, much thicker than I'd be able to cut myself tidy and get the aperture and everything perfect. So we can buy the kit, you get the uh, construction tape and things, so you can just put it all together in one go. I've used Songs of the Sea this time by uh, Stamperia, and I do actually have a decorating video to go with this. So as I was decorating it, um, I was thinking about all extra finishing touches because I wanted to see if I could decorate the entire Morgana album, which was designed for um, an 8x8 graphic 45. But I wanted to see if I could make it using just one of the 8x8 uh, Songs of the Sea pads and one of the 8x8 backing paper pads. And the, answer, uh, the truth is, yes, I did. So there is a video, as I said, to show you all the tips and tricks of how I um, maximise my papers and things for making this album. So we'll have a little look through because I have added quite a few finishing touches. So in the video, I do go through how I do this framing with the mitering. But since the video then, I've added some little black pearls. Sorry, not black pearls, they're brown pearls. Just as sort of rivets to finish it off. And then it still felt a little bit empty. So I got the ephemera pack as well. And the thing with Songs of the Sea is I made this quite a masculine project, uh, project by avoiding all the mermaids. And you can get a mermaid ephemera pack. So I got all my papers and the ephemera from intocraft.com. Again, a link below. So if you wanted to get your hands on some of these, you can. So I went for the cogs and all the pipes. So they've been added. So no fussy cutting involved. I just stuck them on. I think it really did finish it off. So I've got cogs and pipes down here. And I just love how it sort of just works its way around. And here I've got a pipe. I've tried to make it look like the pipes just keep on going. And with Morgana, we do have this acetate apertured front. So it means that page one of your album is actually part of the cover as well. So I went for that little portal, uh, porthole, sorry, not portal, porthole paper there. And I added a little bit of fussy cutting from the inside cover as well. And I had enough paper left over that I've got the wood going all the way around and another sheet from the background papers on the back. So let's go inside. So I showed how to do a mitered corner there, but inside then I show you how to do an aperture one as well, in case you wanted to do that method instead. So you can see it's acetate, so you can see the glare going on there. Let's move it up the way and get to page one. So as I said, page one is kept quite simple because you can see it through the cover. So it's just a big, large pocket for a five by seven photo. So we've got the photo mat to go inside. So it just slides inside like so. As I said, this is just uh, the full page from the eight by eight pad with a little piece of ephemera stuck down there. Actually, it wasn't ephemera, that was fussy cut. And then we open it up on well, each of the pages are pocket pages so I can do more um, photo mats and it's actually this photo mat is the one that would also fit in the side pockets as well like so so you can make one of the uh, four more of these using your leftover scraps because you do have some leftovers to go in there so each of the pages when you see them is actually a photo uh, placement as well. So that's page one. And then in the decoration video, you'll see that I use just two sheets very cleverly to 
cover the whole of this page. So let's take these out and then we'll add them back in. So two sheets. So this is from the background papers and this is from the main pad. I think I did have to use some leftover bits just to cover the flap then. But the main panels are used like so. And I do have a corset because it wouldn't be one of my Cool Cats projects without a corset um, page or corset closure. And so a corset closure uses the Cool Cats folio circles. And I do have a video dedicated to these. So have a look at my closure album. And there's a video of me going through this very slowly. So it opens up. And we have some more space for your photo mats to go inside there. And this is the new um, diagonal cut photo slots from Cool Cats Crafts. So you've got a big pocket there. And my corset closure then is just like a folio closure, but three of them side by side. And you just take your string across, diagonal, diagonal, across, and then two more diagonals and over the top. And then we move on to the right hand side. I just love the ships and things in this one. So as I said, there are lots of mermaids in this, but I stuck to all the ships and the cogs and the um, industrial themed bits. Now we'll have a video on how to make these three by four photo wallets. So I used one of the leftover pieces and then fussy cut one of the sentiments from the inside cover. So that's a three by four, but you can actually fit six by four photos in this pocket as well. And larger five by seven photos in here or a five by seven photo mat like so. Again, there will be a video um, showing you how I do all my finishing touches. Not with this paper. Um, it's using the, oh, it's the Graphic 45 um, Mermaid one. So that's actually two Under the Sea themed ones. And then, so is it Make a Splash? Yeah, so I'll show you. There's a video on finishing touches in the Make a Splash videos. Oh, and we've got some Cool Cats clips as well, using the cogs and things inside there. So great way of using up all the little scrappy bits of um, designer paper, and then they fit in with your album perfectly. So let's move over. So the next page was the catch-up page. And again, there's a video for each page of these um, Morgana albums on my channel. And have a look at Cool Cats Crafts as well. And they're just some horizontal pockets with some photo mats. So let's have a look at this photo mat I do in the Finch and Touches video. This is just one of the photo or journal cards from the pack, just mounted on some black. And some ephemera pieces, so you can actually tuck your photo behind like so and then just tucked in and i did add some more because i like the strings and things it went with this thing so these um stringy bits here they weren't intended to do anything apart from being decoration but you could um tuck stuff inside the strings as well so just for the folio circles with string wrapped in that shape and then with the photo or the journal bits, I had these bits, so I just made a little small photo wallet and a large one as well. So if it had a mermaid on, this one had a mermaid, I used the back because I was determined to make this a masculine project. So you could, I could even tuck that over the string and some more Cool Cats clips. So in the Cool Cats clips die set, you get some octagons, some circles and some squares. So you can make a variety of different paper clips out of your cardstock, which ties in perfectly with your project. So let's have a look how, there we go. And I'll put it behind the string as well. Lovely. Right, again, it's a photo, uh, sorry, it's a pocket page, so you can put things in. This time, we've got a belly band. Again, a photo mat using one of the ephemera pieces, so you can tuck your photo behind. So I've got one of the 
journal cards here again, just cut out from the kit. And you can tuck your photo, your five by seven, so nice large photo mat here. And I've attached one of the ephemera pieces onto a paper clip and a, um, a light bulb sh uh, shaped paper clip there. And I've got one of the brad closures made into a magnetic closure. So you can actually attach a photo or something inside there. Then again, this is just designed to be some decoration. It has no function just to tie in all the strings and things because it went with the theme. As I said, I wanted to keep this octopus in one piece. He was perfect for my belly band pocket. So as I put this in, goes behind there and we've got room for six by four photos and things inside this main pocket and smaller items up there and moving along this is probably a corset <laughs> closure extreme so i've gone ott with it this time and i've used five pairs just to keep everything in place and it saves me having to use a piece of acetate. So I've just got my two flaps. It's a good page for showing off uh, one of your main image papers. So it's just two little flaps. So you can tuck all your things inside like so. And there is no acetate because I didn't feel like we needed it because we had so much string. And then over the top. And then moving on to the last page, which is, oh, let me grab some photo mats. So the last page has got these two diagonal pockets and I'll show you then how I can use them all across the four per pockets there. And this is a five by seven photo uh, mat. And as you can see, you've got room here. Actually, let's have it this way around so it looks a bit more interesting. So we've got space there, but it's all built on top of another pocket. So you've got another space for large photos and things in there. And then on the back, just one large image sheet which I wanted to keep. And then the two triangles just act as stoppers. So you can actually tuck quite a few things into the final page. So that is my Songs of the Sea. As I wanted to make a masculine one out of a mermaid paper. And I think I'm quite happy that I succeeded in my mission. So if you fancy making your own Morgana, Make sure you head over to Cool Cats Crafts website, um, link in description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you like these Stamperia papers and if there's any others you think would really suit this Morgana project. But if you did want to make your own then and you've got the covers ready, I do have a full playlist with a step-by-step, page-by-page video for you to make your own. So thank you for watching. I said, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up and leave me some comments. It will help my channel quite a lot. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon.